she make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. Ugh, I'm so sick of popcorn after all that popcorn I ate. Cottage core. Look what modesty did to me. I'm just joking. Remember when you said doo-doo looks like a breed of dog that hasn't been invented yet, but old ladies are going to love it? <laughs> the things I say when I'm mad, I don't even remember. I said that? You guys have to keep, all keep me company because, uh, you know, the loneliness and the depression have really gotten to me today, I have to say. This is pathetic. I'm a grown woman. Think of it this way. Normally, when I'm at home, any time of the day, any time, any time of the day, any time of the night, if I want to go hug and kiss a handsome man, I can just do that. Not only a handsome man, the handsome man. But now I can't. How come you can't cut your trip short? I have my reasons, guys. It's all you need to know. Why am I depressed? There's so many reasons to be depressed. I know. I just can't make content right now. You gotta give me some time. I'm freaking out. Why are you obsessed with pay someone's payday, Sierra? Are you happy on your payday? What the friggin' hell? Daddy, chill. Actually, I've just stopped relying on paydays. Like, number one, like, YouTubers get paid every month, so... <laughs> paid too. Who cares about payday? Like you get paid. It just feels like you don't even get paid when <laughs> you get paid once a month. I used to get paid once a week at some jobs. That I thought that was a long time to wait. I have payday every day for my business. I don't need to wait until payday once a month. <laughs> Luckiest man. <laughs> I don't even know like your pay get your pay business. That's your business, you know. <laughs> if you ask strangers if they're happy on payday, <laughs> I want to go around outside. Yes. Um. Are you happy for payday? If you live paycheck to paycheck, you are. And I used to live that way for a long, 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 long time. What's today? The 20th, 20th? So technically, not all YouTubers, but most YouTubers get paid on the, like, you don't get paid on the 21st. You get your pay, like, release between the 21st and the 26th of the month. And you, your paycheck goes in your account, not that same day. Like, it takes a few days. I'm not, I'm not a rich person. You know, I'm thankful for everything I have, but uh, I'm not going to pretend like, oh, yeah, I have millions in the bank. I don't need to worry about anything. I don't need to worry about paydays. One of those. <laughs> but it is nice. Not having to really worry, like, paycheck to paycheck wise like that. Those days are so stressful. Like, I don't know. I know, babe. People think you're in Spain. Who cares, Sierra? Listen, I'm not saying this is the case. But even if I wanted to give all my money to a man, who gives a shit? What's it to you? But that's not the case because I don't have money. I really don't. Hey, good vibes. So, <laughs> you're technically right. He called me a freak of nature, yeah. So, it's out of the loving. I call my cat a stupid loser. And I love this because I love her to death. Don't you get it? It's irony. There's a kind of humor in marriages, especially with me. Like, especially with me. Like, I have the hugest sense of humor. Like, that's why you guys like to watch me. You, I make you laugh, whether it's at my expense or whatever reason, right? So, of course we're going to make jokes. You guys are more offended by it than I am. You guys have been more offended than every single thing that has single-handedly happened to me in life. You guys are more appalled and bewildered about it. You talk about it more than I do. Everything. And I don't need Gore World, for example. And think about this logically. If Gore World were to crumble completely, minus me, I'd still be here making content for you guys. And you would still be here watching me. There would be maybe, okay, maybe it would I would take, let's say I take a view cut. I'd still be here standing. You're a law. You're a law. I don't need them, you know? But like I heard her say, someone say, I think it was, I was watching Hecate's, I was listening to Hecate's daughter stream. And she was listening to Kalari. Don't 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 get all excited, honey. I don't want you people raw. Trust me. And then she was like talking about how like she could, at least she could put her socks on standing up. Uh huh. Okay, but doesn't do it. But like, who cares how you put your socks on? Your socks are coming on either way. What does it matter how they get on? Like, who cares if you have to twist your leg this way versus this way? Who gives a shit? Like, why does that matter? Like, does that make me any less of a person just because I put my socks on differently? So stupid. Putting your socks up on standing up is overrated, anyways. But Nick losing all that weight was crazy for real. Um, it's really good. I mean, but he didn't have like a lifelong struggle with weight. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it would be easier for someone like him who doesn't have lifelong addictions to food or stuff like that. But maybe he developed an addiction. Maybe he developed an eating disorder because of the mukbangs. So I don't know. But yeah, but he basically just like, he barely made any videos. He would release some here and there, but they weren't like, you know, I, I stopped watching him because I was like, where's Nick, you know? 
But so he was gone for a while. He had a lot of time to, to work on his health behind the scenes. <clears throat> I just said that, Giovanna. I just said maybe he did. But because he was thin and he was healthy before he did the mukbangs. So he wasn't obese for very long is what I'm saying. You know? No, I don't think my platform enables me to win a friend because people watch me no matter what I do. It's not like I'm dependent on making huge mukbangs and stuffing my face if I don't want to, you know? The more you talk about somebody, good or bad, actually bad is probably even piques people's interest even more because they go check you out. <laughs> I don't know. Karma police. Arrest this girl, this, how does it go? This man, he talks in maths. He buzzes like a fridge. He's like a detune radio. Yeah, I regret my tattoos, period. But what can you do when you're at a point in your life when you think a certain way and like tattoos? <laughs> you know, my to-do list is not tied. I did nothing but cower away from the world because I was depressed and I miss my husband. So let me in now and it can be nice. The sirens here for emergency vehicles are like rebel, rebel, as opposed to Canada where they're like <laughs> you know cheese graveyard yeah I don't care how many Michael B. Sweaties have a heart attack over it I wish I told him off back then I don't care I'll do what I want I don't care what you think okay I'm just okay <laughs> I'm fake raging and there's also a market where I bought a block of cheese. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I miss my fam fam. And I hate saying that all the time because I know it stresses you out, babe. Like, I'm sure it's, you know, because you, like, you know, like, you feel the pressure of, like, us missing each other. And I'm not holding up. I'm always messaging him, like, every second of the day. I miss you. Eh, I miss you. Eh. <coughs> my belly hurts from the, I'm, I have to go to the bathroom. For that. Can you guys entertain yourselves? I have a mukbang coming out. I had a big meal, holy. It was so expensive, probably the most expensive meal I've eaten in a while, but I couldn't finish it. And they give you a huge portion, a huge portion. So it's worth it once in a while. Cheese Pro Max sounds like a phone or a laxative. <laughs> I saw long legs. Let me in now and it can be nice. Remember babe when he starts singing in the movie? I hate, I hate the trip between Canada and the Middle East. I've done, to be fair, I've done it like six times now. So <clears throat> I think it's why I've been six. I'm done. I'm done for now with that. I, I just can't. Vacation content. I've been sick as a friggin' dog. I've been like, ugh. I even, you know, I was really sick. It's true. Clinique is for old ladies. Well, I'm old. Damn. Can't we all get along? Yes, we must all get along and no drama. Thank you. I hear this all night. People coming in and out. Because you can rent this place like an apartment, I think, so people coming in and out. Might be. It's nice, but imagine living here permanently, like in a hotel setting. What am I going to eat? What am I going to eat? <laughs> you know something? I know people. some people were commenting about me sitting beside another big girl in the plane. And like, whenever we were, what's funny is whenever we were lining up to get to board, okay, this woman, I noticed her because she was the only, her and I were the only big women in the whole plane, okay? So she must have boarded before me. I, I lost sight of her. And I go to look for my seat. And of course, Murphy's Law, of course, my seat is right beside her. So we're like squished like this together. And then it just so happened, you you know, that you hear that announcement, that glorious announcement of the captain saying, all passengers aboard. And then you're like, yeah. And then you move to an empty seat. So she, so this guy that was at the end, got to move and she moved to that other seat so there was a seat in between us and she didn't know like any English but much English but she she looked at me and looked at the empty seat and said relax like pointed to us like we get to relax with this extra seat and I was like yes <laughs> are you outing me <laughs> you're fucking outing me <laughs> I eat the snacks behind his back which I do I do I do <laughs> Just recently, he's like, he just thought, I would like an ice cream. <laughs> and I was on video with him. And I was like, oh no, he's going to notice they're all gone. <laughs> he opens the freezer on video and I'm cringing. And one lonely, one lonely ice cream sandwich comes tumbling down. <laughs> the valley of frozen, uneaten vegetables. 
<laughs> and he drops his hand and he's like, what? <laughs> Are you gonna use our home gym bees? Oh, babe, how often? If we have a nice gym setup, I will use it like every day. I'll try to, like, I'll make it part of my routine, you know? <laughs> I get up from the screen and throw that ravioli if you order it. <laughs> you can't. Me, 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 me. No, I should order something else, eh? It's apple season right now in Canada. Okay, babe, we have to promise we have to go for apple season next year and eat apple pie from Marlin Orchards. Um, if I do get something, I'm not get getting something on camera because everybody will be judging what I get. <laughs> like, Frank, everyone in my life. They had a deal at Potato Corner and I want to try it because apparently it's one of those like must try places <clears throat> on the list. I'm like, I should be able to, to be alone, but of course you're going to miss your home. No matter who you are, at some point you're going to miss home if you have an attachment to it. You know? I'm so tired. Why did I order food and I have to wait for it? <laughs> I'm seriously so tired. I don't know what I'm still doing up, honestly. We'll go live after. Bye, guys.